Welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician. Today we're going to be doing our first modification to the collar that I just picked up. Uh, it was going to be the air dam removal and skid plate install and I forgot to pick up the skid plate when I was at the dealership. <laughs> so I'm going to save the air dam removal until I pick that up and uh, I'm still waiting on everything else that's supposed to be on the truck already but no big deal. We'll get it all eventually. Today we're going to be working on the hood. More specifically installing the red line hood strut because on these you do not get any sort of hood assist or prop except for the good old fashioned and affordable hood prop which really surprises me because many previous models and other Chevrolet trucks come with either a spring loaded hood or these struts and here we just have this turd of a rod which doesn't make any sense to me. It's 2023 and these trucks are expensive enough. I think we can afford a little spring assist or strut assembly. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. It's an extremely easy install and Redline already has a fantastic you know, video on it, but I figured I'm gonna document all the upgrades I'm doing. So hopefully this is still helpful. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and stay tuned for further modifications to the truck. What you're going to need is a 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, and a ratchet, and that's really it. They provide very detailed instructions on what to do, so this is very easy. First thing you need to do is pop the hood. If you don't know how to pop the hood, you probably don't need to do this. <laughs> uh, so it should be a very simple install. And the only thing I noticed that was wrong was on step 4B it says install the correct bracket as shown with the ball stud pointing inward towards the center of the vehicle but then down below it says pointing outwards on both sides so I think B is just a mistake on that end but other than that it's very simple to follow and should be a quick and easy installation you got your two hood struts here you got one bracket this one looks to be the driver's side passenger side and then the balls that mount uh, down on the fender so let's go ahead and get it installed you're gonna go with the one not closest to the hinge for the hood but the one in the center before the headlight assembly over here there is a blank hole here I know you probably can't see that but the first one is the fastener for the fender that is a 10 millimeter and this one you're going to remove, you do not need it anymore because the stud is going to take its place. And this is the only 10 millimeter that you'll be working with. Everything else from now on will be 13 millimeter. So now that we've removed that, so here you have your ball stud and then you have your washer. The washer is actually conical shaped, so there's kind of a hump to it. It's extremely hard to see. but. So the outer edges of this washer are going to be touching here, whereas the high spot in the center is going to be facing up. So simply drop that in place, try to keep it centered on the washer. And then just nice and snug, no need to go He-Man on it. I only have this one piece left, which will be removing the top nut from the hinge here and then hold on to the nut because you will need that then you take your bracket and then you're going to kind of keep that for the most part straight up and down and then you'll take the bigger end of the strut assembly and you'll attach it to the top just by simply rocking it back and forth. For this, you can lift your hood and do the same thing, rocking it on the ball. It's installed. Very easy install. Quick, 5-10 minutes, you're done. 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter. You won't need these fasteners anymore. Once again, even if you aren't mechanically inclined, it's it's extremely simple, easy to do, and I hope you guys found this helpful. No more need for this prop rod here. 
I may actually just remove it because it is unnecessary. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Way better. Way better. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. Stay tuned for many more modifications. We'll be doing many exterior modifications as well as interior modifications. So if you guys haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time.